Hey everybody, what's going on? Dustin here with another NASCAR Diecast review. If you are loving these throwback Thursday Diecast reviews, let me know down in the comments below. If you love seeing these old cars just pop up on a Thursday for for NASCAR Diecast reviews. And I, I really want to do like a throwback Thursday. Uh, like a, actually not a throwback Thursday, a throwback week of old Diecast schemes. But I figure I want to do that another time. But today we're taking a look at an oldie, a blast from the past from 2000, 22 years ago. This is the uh, number 19 Dodge Intrepid show car. Which is actually the, uh, Sean here says 2000 Intrepid RT. Countdown to 2001. This was for the first time that a Dodge has returned back into the into the sport of NASCAR, and they had a good long run from 2001 to 2012, and unfortunately for them, Dodge did not want to return to the 2013 season, and, and the last thing they wanted was a championship, and, a, and of course, Brad Kozlowski gave them a crowning moment, won their first championship. Now, this is the box stuff. Now, it does have some wear and tear on here. This, don't forget, this is from 2000. This is from Everham Motorsports. There's one side. And here's the uh, the Dodge, the leader in motorsports merchandising. Other side as well. And there's also the copyrights. And then so, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and carefully take this car out of the box. I'll be right back. And here's the car, the show car itself. This is the uh, 2000 Intrepid RT, which would later be the 2001 Intrepid. So here's the front of the car. And I will admit, it looks nice. Now, I can't, don't remember if, uh, I don't know if Lionel actually does show cars. Uh, I, know, I understand they did a couple of test cars just recently for the uh, new car. And I think they also did one of the uh, did one wave of the uh, Gen Six cars, to which they do look amazing. I can't remember if they do one for a Gen Five. I for the car tomorrow. I think they did. I think I got one. It was a Jimmy Johnson one. I'll have to look back at those and see. So here's the front of the car. This is the. Uh, I think this was kind of a mock up of what the 2001 Intrepid would look like. And there's the front of the car. Now, I'll admit, it is more curved at the front compared to the cars of today. Now, the, we actually never noticed that the Camaro actually has that little point that actually tips out. I think the um, Mustangs actually have a flat nose. And I don't know what the Camrys look like. I think the Camrys are a little bit rounded. We got the Intrepid, we got the number 19, we got Ray Everham Motorsports, and there's the, uh, the Dodge. And this is actually the Dodge logo from uh, back in the day. From back in the day, I can't imagine until, I think they still use it. I think you would see it on the Dodge Challengers and Chargers, Darts and all that. And how about this? They actually done this first before the, uh, the Gen 6 cars. Your friendly Dodge dealers. They actually put a little message up on top of the windshield. And the, whoever made this diecast car was really ahead of its time. <laughs> and it's got the number 19 up on the top now. Let's, before we take a look at the back, we're going to look at the sides. Now we got the little Mopar on the front core, front fender. And we got Goodyear Eagle, and we also got the NASCAR 2000. Now, some of these are actually really, there's some that are eligible, and there's some that are just not eligible. Now, I will go over from top to bottom. Feel free to correct me on some. Now, the top one is NASCAR 2000. One below is NASCAR Race Car, NASCAR Winston Cup, Simpson Belt, MSD. 
I can't remember the, the one below MSD. Uh, Penske, Bowman, and the second to last one, Lyle, it's something I can't remember, and Mac Tools. Okay, I got Ignition, and you know, well, I'm at the one between Bowman and Mac Tools is just really hard. All right, if anybody can make it out what it says, let me know. We also got the number 19. Now, there's no driver name on here. And I guess this, my best guess, this is just a show car. So, I don't think there were any driver that was placed in there. And it wasn't until later on that Casey Atwood would go from the Cup Series to, not Cup Series, a Bush Series to the Cup Series. Now, we got the IR and the Dodge logo up on the B pillar. You got Ram Ham Motorsports just above the exhaust. Also got UAW, Dodge, also your friendly Dodge dealers. And here's the back. Now remember, this is just a concept of what the Intrepid would look like. So it really did not look like this. I think maybe one day I will do a Dodge Intrepid scheme. I think I did one with Casey Kane, but it was a 2004. But I really want one, like a bigger one, 124 scale. From 2001 so that way y'all can see what what the final product look like so we got taillight decals Abraham Motorsports and Intrepid now I don't remember that little spot where the license plate would be or manufacturing plate now we got the UAW National Training Center and of course the other side the right side the same as the left actually Let's take a look at the inner chassis. Now, this is all die cast metal, and if you have not noticed, the hood does open on it. So, hopefully, it stays. But, the problem is, it won't stay open long, so you gotta hold it by a finger. This is what the engine would look like inside the Intrepid, and you've seen it now. And my final thoughts on this car. Now, do I actually like this car? This car is pretty cool. Now, they were ahead of their time. And I can't imagine this is a, a rare car to find now these days. And I'm a proud owner of it. Now, they were really ahead of their time with the die-cast chassis on the bottom. Plus, you got the uh, rivets and also the rubber tires as well. And I think this was long be before uh, Lionel decided to... Uh, do that again. Well, I think that will be all for this uh, review whatsoever. If you like this video, leave a like, comment on here for input. Also, subscribe to this channel for more NASCAR diecast reviews. I try to publish them out in the best way I can. I am a Circle B diecast affiliate. Use coupon code Kruger at checkout for $5 ship off shipping on all orders $30 or more. Holiday season come around, and you can use that code for any time it doesn't matter if it's Christmas or the holidays or maybe a birthday coming up birthday anniversary or whatever so anyway my name is Dustin and I'll see you guys in another video